In this short video, we will discuss how to splice optical fibers using a 12 fiber splice tray. First, you will need to gather the materials you will be using. This includes fusion protection sleeves, a fiber stripper, isopropyl alcohol and delicate task wipes, a high precision fiber cleaver, and a fusion splicing machine. Now we will address the splicing process. To begin, place a fusion protection sleeve onto the fiber. Then, using the fiber stripper, remove about one and a half inches of the acrylate coating from the 250 micron fiber. Using the alcohol and task wipes, thoroughly clean the exposed fiber. Once clean, cleave the exposed fiber by placing it in the delegated spot inside the cleaver and press down. Remove the fiber from the cleaver and place it in the fusion splicing machine where the two fibers will be fused. Next, grab the fiber that you will be splicing to the first one and strip, clean, cleave and place in the splicing machine across from the first fiber. Place the fibers approximately a quarter inch apart in the V-grooves or other designated positions in the splice machine, ensuring the fibers are not touching. After starting, watch as the splicing machine cleans, sets the gap between the two fibers, and inspects the fiber cleave. With the correct alignment and cleave, the fibers will automatically fuse and record the insertion loss. Upon completion, open the lid to the splicing area, slide the fusion protection sleeve up the fiber to the newly spliced connection, and then carefully pick up the spliced fibers and place in the heat curing section of the splice machine. After about 30 seconds, remove the fusion spliced fibers from the heating area and route them in the splice tray. Remember to maintain manufacturer's recommended minimum bend radius while routing fibers in the splice tray. Your splice tray should look like this once you have spliced and routed all the fibers. For additional tech tips or fiber optic related questions, subscribe to our YouTube channel or find us on the web at www.fiber1llc.com.